We are MPH students at the Colorado School of Public Health and we are interested in learning more about occupational safety and needle stick injuries. Specifically, we are interested in why half or more of all needle stick injuries go unreported. One of our group members is a physician and he has agreed to talk to us about a particular needle stick injury he sustained during his residency training, and why he didn't report it. Due to the sensitive nature of my story, I have decided to mask my identity. Class, follow me as we will watch a short informative video about my experience. What are you doing with that needle? This wasn't part of our presentation. What is going on? Shut. Everyone just needs to follow me. How are you? Great, how are you? Wonderful. Dr. X, please tell us about your needle stick injury and why you decided not to report it. Sure. I was a second year resident at a medicine training program in New York City. I was on call and it was a really, really busy night. It was about 4 o'clock in the morning and I was inserting a medical device called an arterial line into one of my patient's wrists. I was alone with the patient in the room, and he had a surgical drape over his head, so he couldn't see me or what I was doing. I was doing the procedure, and I poked my finger with one of the needles. What happened next? Absolutely nothing. I thought about what had happened, and I made the decision not to report the needle stick. I just finished the procedure and went about my business. Why did you decide not to report it? Well, there are so many reasons. First of all, I was simply too busy to start the reporting process. I was already two admissions behind, and the reporting process involved filling out a stack of paperwork an inch thick. Also, I was just so tired. The last thing I wanted to do when I finished my shift at noon the next day was go to occupational health and start the whole testing and treatment process. What else? Well, as a resident, I simply didn't have the time to deal with the months of treatment and testing that would result from reporting the injury. I had had previous needle sticks and had gone through the treatment and testing process before, and it was simply incompatible with my ridiculous work schedule. So, this wasn't your first needle stick injury? No, I, I had others earlier in residency. That definitely played a role in my decision not to report it. Frankly, the fact that I kept getting needle sticks was embarrassing. I didn't want my medical colleagues and superiors to think that I lacked physical dexterity or was a bad doctor. What else? I know this sounds stupid now, but I definitely made a judgment about my patient's lifestyle and health. What do you mean? Well, the hospital was on the Upper East Side of Manhattan in a very well-to-do neighborhood. I figured that based on my patient's upper-class lifestyle, and overall good health, it was unlikely to hit HIV or hepatitis B or C. Is there anything else you'd like to add? The fact that the injury was unwitnessed definitely played a role in my decision. If another doctor or nurse saw it happen, I wouldn't have been able to blow it off. I also want to add the fact that while in retrospect I realized that it was an incredibly stupid decision, when you're running around the hospital like a madman at 4 o'clock in the morning in a half delirious sleep deprived state, Sometimes you don't make the smartest decisions. Hi, I'm home! Oh, sh